Hello everyone, doing some sailing, not sure how many will see this live, but these are all the rocks before I sealed them, so you can see what they look like before, and then I'm going to seal along with you guys, so you guys can see how that changes the rocks, even though they do look nice, once they're sealed, it's a whole new world, even though they do look gorgeous. It just enhances them back to when they were freshly poured. So these are before. And I'll show you what I seal with. And I've been doing this for the past two years and I've really enjoyed this product. Um, I do have resin. I haven't um, indulged in the resin just because it's a little bit of safety issue that I haven't got over yet. So because of the amount of rocks that I have and that I do, these are for art hop that I'm getting ready for. I don't do the resin because I don't think it's worth spending the money with the amount of rocks I do. And because the rocks I do are metallic, I don't have to do the resin because if they're metallic, they do shine like really nice regardless. So I stay away from the resin only because I'm able to get a beautiful shine with Duraclear. So that's, you know, that's just my preference. And I do have health safety issues where I have little ones. So I try to do stuff that can give me the best look, but can also uh, be cost effective and um, easy to do. And then less, less smelly is kind of my thing, just because I have issues with the smell and giving me headaches and stuff. So, okay, so I'm ready to seal. And we're gonna start with these. Um, I do use different brushes. Sometimes I like these ones. You know, there's all kinds of different sizes. Um, I really like this circle one just because I'm able to get a good amount of coverage in there. I'm just gonna take off the excess. But like, we'll start with this rock. I'm just gonna do a little ceiling. And I'll just start from the middle and work my way out. I usually have two hands, but I'm using the phone right now, so I'm not able to hold. I've already sealed all the bottoms because the bottoms get sealed first. And since I seal the bottoms first, um, that helps with the top. So once I seal the tops, it don't smudge as much. And then Jennifer just asked me right now on um, while I'm um, sealing, she asked me, what do you need to start pouring? Please check out the albums area of this group. I've um, compiled a ton of info that I've got from a ton of members. I mean, it's not my info actually alone. Majority is men members info that has helped me out. And that's going to link you up to the what you need to get started and um, just basic stuff. And also um, what happens when we start storing, I mean, sealing and how long it takes for the rocks to dry. So pretty much a lot of the times um, I'll see happen is people will pour one day and seal the next, which is totally okay. I've, I've done it before because it's hard to wait. But sometimes when you do that too soon, um, the rocks will bubble up. Like when you, let's see how pretty these look when they're sealed. Um, sorry, I get lost at the moment here. When you do, um, lost my train of thought too. Um, when you do pour and then you um, seal the following day, you don't give the paint time enough to f properly cure. What I mean is not to be touch dry, but what I mean is for the paint to fully harden. And sometimes when I chime in and I say, oh, you might want to wait a little bit, it's mainly because it's all about saving our beautiful rock lives. You know, no one wants to pour something gorgeous and then seal too soon and then bubbles appear on your rocks you know that's never something you want to happen is to have something so gorgeous and then have it mess up because you you can't wait so patience is important in these beautiful rocks and as you see like when I'm sealing them I'm trying to be by the window too you can see they are pretty but once they get sealed and normally I have an extra hand so right now I'm just doing it one-handed um, it just enhances the beauty so much. I mean, my fun part, uh, part of the process of pouring is not only the pouring part, it's the sealing part. 
And so I always seal and recommend you seal the tops last because if you seal the tops first, you'll flip it over and it'll mess up your seal on the top. And really, I know people get all consumed about rock butts, but really the tops are what people are really looking at. So even though they'll take a gander at the rock booty, um, it's not as much as what they see on the top. So let me get this out of the way so you can see the, the beauty while I'm sealing it. And hello to everybody who is watching currently right at this moment. I can't um, chime in. I've got one hand here. So as I'm sealing, I'm seeing some hello. So just want to make sure you guys know I said hello back. And it just, I mean, i seen this one before and it looked nice. But when you look at it now sealed, you can see more shimmer going on. And like I said earlier in this video, the reason I don't resin everything that I do is because I do a ton of rocks and most of them are given. So at this moment, I'm saving my resin for jewelry. But this Duraclair, I highly recommend. Um, this is the one I recommend. There are different versions of this, like high gloss. I know some people have had some issues with those lately. So I've always only used this or just the Duraclair varnish, not the gloss part. You know, they've that's always been, haven't had any issues past two years. And I do this all indoors. My little one's sitting over there. And so I feel comfortable doing this product indoors because of the smell, it's not a potent smell. And once the rocks do dry, um, you will not smell anything in your house. There's not a lingering smell. Like if you spray your rocks outside because it really smells and you can't bring them indoors for a couple of days because they smell, that tells you that that product is a bit potent. And so for me, when I'm recommending stuff to other people, I'll only recommend something I feel is safe, especially with little ones. Um, this one came out really nice. The thing I love about these brushes versus a regular brush is they leave less brush stroke marks. I mean, I can hardly see them even though you see a little bit of a line there. Later, I'm gonna follow up the second coat with a smooth brush. So then at least at the very end, I'm gonna get a nice, nice coverage on that. Oh, one of the members is so cute. She said, do you ever sleep? I do, I do. And a lot of the things sometimes I'll post um, the videos, they will be of previous lives because to be honest, I was really active the first year and then not that I'm not now I'm still active but a little more lives going on there so I think I've done over 70 or more lives to this group the past um, two years and what's cool is when I started this group um, there was only a small amount of us like maybe 200 and it's already you know it's gone up to almost 6,000 so that's pretty cool See how much prettier it looks once it's been sealed. And when I turn and move, you can see like how the, the light reflects on them. Um, yes, Karen asked me if I do use gloves. I do, I do use gloves, but the way I do it is I do the bottoms first. So I'll do just the bottom and I'll do just the bottom first. And then the next time that I go to seal, then I seal around all the edges. So these have all the edges done. So once I feel like they've dried enough, I'll flip them over. And then really only thing that needs to get sealed is the actual top of the rocks. Like by the time I do the sides, then the last part is very just the top. So I don't even need to use gloves because I'm just gonna go over just one part of it. Same with all of these. I've already done sealed the bottom. I've sealed the sides so that my last seal of coverage is on the top and then it looks like a, a nice even cover on the top so you know that really helps okay so i'm going to seal this one i just want you to see the before and after because when it when i seal it it really will dry close to what i'm how i'm sealing it and how it looks so as i'm sealing you can see like more color gets more shimmery 
with the extra bit of shine on top. And not every everybody's rocks will get more shimmery with the Duraclear. You know, I don't want to sell you a lie or something, but I use a ton of metallics. So if you do use a lot of metallics, they do get extra shimmery with just the Duraclear. I usually do two, maybe three coats, depending on how shiny I want it to be. Oh, Karen is so cute. She said she just spent an hour shaving off dry paint off of her their, her drips. And just in case you don't know what that means. Um, so I'm not sure how she shaves it, but just so you know, and this is a safety issue. You use what you want to use. But when I, you know, clean the little edges off, I use this. So you can use a potato peeler. You can use whatever you want. But this is pretty fast. As long as you don't wait too long to clean the around the bottoms, because sometimes if you wait like more than two weeks, that stuff gets hard to clean off and you might have to use the sandpaper. So just so you know, just a little tip in between here. If you guys have any questions, um, just chime in. Just feel free to chime in. Okay, so I'm gonna do a couple more and then I'm gonna cut out here, but just wanna show you guys a little bit on the ceiling. And this one I know is going to come out amazing just because of the colors in there. Oh, Karen also gave another good tip. I just wanted to chime it in the little video here. She says that she torches her blade and then when she trims the paint, it just melts right off. You should do a tutorial on that. I don't do anything regarding flameage just because I know that anything with the flame and paint just the fumes get a little weird for me. Okay, this one. This one is going to really look amazing. I mean, I'm not that they all won't look amazing, but some are more some have a better color than others so you know it all depends that's what's fun about just the ceiling part too because you think oh it's just the pouring no the ceiling part is actually pretty fun too because sometimes that's when you see oh my god like this is really more you know jewel like than i thought it was gonna be but then as you get more comfortable um i know this is crazy if i had two hands i'd be able to hold it a lot better so usually I do it a little bit smoother with my hand underneath, but for you guys, just doing a little viewing of this. I try not to leave it thick in any way, like there's any, just make sure it's nice and smooth because it'll dry that way, so you don't want it to dry that way. You can't just kind of glob it on, you got to make sure it's smooth. Um, I usually put as much as two to three coats of Duraclear on there, but I tend to wait an hour between coats. Um, even longer sometimes, it just depends on how thick the first coat I put on. I mean, they don't go, it doesn't go on very thick. I mean, it's, look how thin it is. It's fairly thin. I'm just gonna go over. Okay, I'm gonna look at her really quick. Oh, Savannah, say hi. It's not grandma. She might see this though. Okay. She is so sweet. She knows that I love pouring rocks and um, giving them to people. And I give them randomly that um, what's funny is that sometimes we'll be places. She'll know I have the rocks some in my purse or something like that. And she'll say, mom, give them a rock. It's really cute. Hey, Savannah. And see, my pores are on my wall. See, right there. Oh, it's going to be me. Hi, guys. Hi. Over there. My daughter made a little a little uh, picture for me for Mother's Day. I thought that was really cool because she knows I love trees and how they move. So she made that have movement. So that was really cool. And then this I haven't sealed yet, but it was a, a plaque I had. And I poured around it, you know, couldn't help it. Since once you start pouring, you can't help but to pour on everything. 
and don't feel bad about that. Just don't put paint on your animals. Okay. Um, Elaine asked a question about spray sealers. Um, yes, um, you can use those, but mainly what I want to get across is when I give you know tips, I try to do it as far as the health and safety issue. And um, even though I'm doing a lot of stuff that seems not very good for the environment type stuff, I do try to stay away from sprays and stuff like that, just for the smell and for for Mother Earth. So. And plus, I like to be able, to be honest, um, seal all year round and weather not be an issue for me. So I don't dry my rocks outside because it can change the way that they do dry and the paint hardens. And I don't seal outdoors because um, I don't need to because with this product, it doesn't ha I don't have to because the smell is not bad. Okay, look at that. That one, I mean, it's really pretty. Um, the glitter that's on there um, is Martha Stewart glitter. I've tried lots of glitter, and I mean, I've done the work for you guys. I've done some work. I've really had the best look as far as it giving that glitter effect with Martha Stewart glitters. And actually, I just put it into the pour cup, and I pour with it, so it pours really nice. Okay, this video is going a bit longer than I was thinking. I just was thinking she's being hay this morning. I might be able to do this. Plus, these are really bigger rocks that I'm not used to doing. The larger ones, I usually do smaller ones, but I'm going to an art hop next weekend, and I'm going to, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to give a bunch, like a lot of these, especially here and back here, I'm gonna give them, you know, I'm gonna put something positive on the back of them, but some of the military and these larger pours, I think I might try to sell them. You know, I'm not positive. It'll be my first time doing it, so we'll see. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, how are you doing over there? Okay, we're getting antsy over there, so we're getting close to the end of my little video over here. So I'm gonna do this one. She thinks I'm talking to grandma. Okay. So, like I said, you know, I had better grip if I had my hand free, and usually I do. So I put my hand underneath, and I'd be going all the way around. And like I said earlier, I do seal the bottoms and the sides first. So most of these that I haven't done yet, the bottoms are sealed and so are the sides. So when I do end up sealing, usually I hold on to it and then I'll seal all around and then I'll set it down. That way I can get a good look around the rock and get good coverage. Cause I know on these, I didn't, so I'm gonna have to go back around them. But um, it's really cool how just sealing the rock can really enhance the look of it. And I use this product just mainly because a lot of reasons it really shines good. I can use it year round. It's kid friendly. Um, like I don't feel like I'm overwhelming with the smell. And when the rocks do dry, you don't smell anything. It has no smell. There is no smell. I also occasionally, occasionally, if I want to like a really resin look of the rock, I do a triple thick first and I apply it by hand. And this stuff is very, very smelly. It's very potent. I'm not going to lie. This stuff I rarely use because it is, it's potent. And the smell does go away after it dries. But when you're doing it, I'm not going to lie, especially for you, those that have um, issues with smells, this one smells really, it's a little bit, it's potent. So just so you know, I mean, it's not horrible. You can stand it, but. Usually I'll seal something and I'll put it in another room. I never set anything outside to seal because weather can affect how sealers seal and also things can get stuck into your um, object that you're trying to seal also. Okay, uh, just one more and then I'm gonna run. If you guys had any questions right now, feel free to ask really quick. I While I'm on here, I can chime back. Um, Hope you're enjoying pouring. It's fun. I love pouring on other objects um, too, but my favorite 
is rocks because for me it's an I'm able to give that more freely and if I have small um, little rocks I'm able to put them in my purse and pass them over to people and lately I've been really having a ton of fun giving these out um, and on the back of my rocks I put our group on there even though it's not like a rock hide group just to know where to make them so they have a, a way to get back to us and make rocks with us but I'm really enjoying making these and giving these because I could put like like last night I put like five in my purse we went out to eat and it was a restaurant that I love eating at so I took five gave them to the um, the waitresses and whoever was working there and it's really cool because I love um, giving and I love seeing that response and interacting with people and the the I guess it's just the surprise you get look on their face when you let people know that you have a gift for them and usually you know you only get gifts during like, your birthday and Christmas so it's nice to see people light up knowing that you did something nice for them even though you, you might be a stranger or whoever it's nice to see how people react to that and I've always felt like I've had made made more connections to people in the community just by doing those things because it's something that they remember. I mean, they may not remember my name, but they remembered that um, moment. And that's really cool because usually those moments are special for me too. So just know that those of you who do make rocks and give them to others to spread kindness into the world, it's one of the most awesome things you could do and when your kids see you do that stuff and you see them want to do nice things for other people I mean that's what that's what it's all about that's what um, you know that's what makes this world awesome is people doing stuff like that for others there's a lot of things that go on that aren't positive but there are a ton of things that always go unnoticed that you know happen all the time so for all you um, kindness warriors out there, you know, keep doing what you're doing because that impact is huge. And I feel like I can see it. And when I go to other rock groups, because I'm part of like, I won't, don't want to lie, because I'm addicted to being in rock groups. I'm over like 300 rock groups. It's just beautiful to see all the love that goes on. I don't, I might not be hiding with those groups, but I can see all the the love that happens within those groups and it's really cool because all those groups are all over the world and it's really awesome to see that that, that could happen with just a rock and just being kind to other people and you guys have a great day I just wanted to show you a bit of um, you know um, ceiling and give you a couple tips and um, hoping that you're enjoying your day and that the magic of pouring really has given you um, some fun because that's what we need. We need fun and we need happiness and we need um, we need magic because magic's always important. So before we close, I'm just gonna put a little magic out there to you guys and hopefully you have a wonderful day. And just keep spreading kindness and happiness because it's like a ripple that goes out, comes back, and just keeps on spreading. So you guys have a wonderful day.